sun so you guys can see. Alright guys, hey what's going on? It's Mark guys. Um It's hot out. It's very, very, very hot out. It's like 105 with the heat index. Uh, with that said, hope you liked the beginning of this video. I thought it was pretty kick-ass. Noah was behind the wheel. He was the wheel man. Ba ba rolling coal like a steamboat engine. Uh, diesel truck driving, cigar smoking, jack drinking, crazy man that he is. So anyways, with that said guys, check this out. This, my friends, is a 2003 Dodge Ram 2500 Laramie. Listen to the sound of that. Let it sink in. Laramie. Towing capacity is all there. Luxury is all there. It's the old school 5.9. Gorgeous, gorgeous truck. Scope your eyes on this, guys. Check it out. So what we have is it's got a uh, suspension lift kit with Bilstein shocks. Um, we didn't undercoat. We undercoated a few components. Nothing too crazy. Just the frame touched up some spots on the uh, sway bars and stuff like that. We replaced everything on here that needed to be replaced in order to pass inspection mechanically. Mechanically, this truck runs and drives great. Bilstein shocks. Um, I want to say it's a six inch, if I'm not mistaken, suspension lift. And check these out, guys. Look at this. Running on a set of my, one of my favorite wheel or favorite tires, BF Goodrich All Trains. These are a 37, 1250, 17 inch tire. Massive tire, guys. And it's wrapped around a uh, Pro Comp uh, Alloys. It's like a nice wheel. It's nothing too, nothing too fancy. But this is a 17 by 9 inch wheel. Nice looking setup for this old school truck. 5.9 is a kick ass truck. It'll run forever. Um, what we did is we retrofitted the front of it here with clear corner lights. Um, looks really nice, nice setup. We got the hood repainted because it was a little, it was peeling. Um, the fender as well. And we got all new body lines, pinstriping all the way throughout the whole entire truck. I'm gonna move on to the truck right here to you guys. We got a little bit of scratch right here. We buffed it out a little bit, but for the most part, it blended in well. Let's take a look at the interior. Check this out, guys. Brand new set of WeatherTech floor mats. Super, super nice shiny and they're protected from all that crap if you get some on it you wipe them off you hose them down and you spill the crap out the one what i really want you guys to pay attention to is check these seats out right here these are what the most some of the most nicest seats back in the day you get your suede insert with the uh in great um stitched ram logo right there and it's black leather you get your flip up seat right here for the dodge rams and this truck has a tuner on it check this stuff out guys let's go around the other side show them the whole truck while we're at it noah check this truck out guys boom do a quick walk around. All right, so look, check this out too. Um, I replaced the driver lower seat cushion with an OEM seat leather right here, all brand new, super, super nice. Still left the back OEM suede the way it was, wasn't even damaged at all. Um, and I found when I was digging through this truck, factory 2003 Dodge Ram booklet right here super super nice it's got all the ins and outs of what you're buying back in the day in 2003 what it came with the options that it has just some awesome literature to read up on guys i mean it's so so kick-ass to read stuff like this from way back when to when the guy bought the truck and realized the packages that they have the options the seats and just just everything it's really really cool um here's the tuner that's on it it's a max energy uh hypertech tuner so everything's still in the box and everything right there um, it's got a full exhaust, it's got a full five inch exhaust system on this truck, and it's got the factory booklet inside the uh, glove box too. So you get the factory booklet, owner's manual, everything. This truck was super well maintained, well kept up. Noah, check out these door jams. What do you think of them? I want to know what your opinion is. Let me see. Noah, what do you think about these door jams? You guys know how picky I am with my door jams. You can lick that. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, I trained them well, right? You guys are probably like, oh my God, what the hell is this guy doing? No, no offense against people who lick stuff. All right, you guys are all great. I love you too. But anywho, back on with the truck. VIN number right there. Focus, focus, focus. Can't get people to focus nowadays. There you go. Uh, the door jams are just really, really nice. Honestly, guys, like brand new. Look at the shine on the weather stripping and that. It's amazing. It's really, really nice. Now the truck's not perfect. It's got a few scratches, dents in there, stuff like that here. Infinity sound system, power windows, power locks. I mean, you just... You can't honestly ask for a nicer truck. Get a scope way back here and see what the damn thing looks like. Now it's a long bed. It's a five nine long bed. You don't really see too much of them around here. The short bed, the four door short beds are more common, but this is a gorgeous truck. It's got a, so walk around the other side now. Let me show you that and we'll stop the video and then uh, end it by starting it up and show them how it sounds. It's got a backup camera and it's got the proximity sensors. Now check this out, ready? Check it out from back here. I want to show you guys something. So this truck has a uh, fast 
165 lift pump in it, um, water separator, and a fil fuel filter. And the best part about it is what I th how I explained in earlier videos is you can't let those your fuel get below a quarter of a tank. If you go to start it and it doesn't start, that's probably why. So what this truck has in it is it, is it has a uh, sump pump at the bottom of the tanks. A little anodized red thing I showed you guys earlier. Um, and that's what that is. So it prevents all that crap that you're gonna go through if you have a uh, lift pump system and you run dry. Um, I'll start the truck up, see, you guys, see how you guys like it. And I hope everybody's doing well. This is Mark, subscribe. Don't end the video right now. No, I wanna let these people hear the truck. I'm gonna drive out of here. As soon as I drive out of here and honk the horn, that's when you end the video, okay? All right, guys, check it out. This is Mark signing out. Hope you like the video. See you. Oh, the truck has this many miles on it. Hold on. I'm losing it today, I'm losing it. 162,277 miles on it. There you go. Oh, flip up CD, Kenwood set, Kenwood flip up CD's changer. Look at it flip up, look at it flip up. It's flip up and you can close it too, ready? Close and it closes. So, hope you guys like the truck. This is Mark with the 2003 Dodge Ram 2500 5.90 liter Laramie Cummins turbo diesel. Check it out.